click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we will study a various control statements in Visual Basic. Control flow statements. There are three types of control flow statements if then, if then else, and select case. So, first we will see the syntax of if then. Syntax of if then is if condition then statement. So, this is same as C, only the difference is what syntax. If condition then statement. So, if I have written some example, if month is equal to 1, then year is equal to year plus 1. So, it means what? If your month is 1, so it means what? You have to increase your year by 1. Next is if then else. So syntax of the if then else is if condition then statement 1 else statement 2 otherwise end if. So example is if balance minus check is less than 0 then you are overdrawn else balance is equal to balance minus check. So if you are withdrawing a more money from the uh, account than your balance then obviously you will get the answer as what you are overdrawn else it will update your balance and your balance will be balance minus check. Next is select case. Select case is same as switch. In the switch also what we do we check the multiple conditions. So in the select also what we do we check the multiple conditions. So syntax is select case expression case value 1 then statement 1 case value 2 then statement 2 else I will get the end statement and end select. So if my case value 1 then statement is going to be a 1. If my case value is 2 then statement is going to be a 2. So if my case 1 then my answer is going to be a statement 1. If my case 2 then answer is going to be a statement 2. Otherwise for the default I write case else statement. So you can write an example here suppose if it is select so you can write an example of select case here select case then this syntax is expression suppose select case month if I am writing then case 1 is going to be what January so I will write case 1 and then you can print Jan if it is case 2 then you can print Feb case else print March and then end select so it means what if my month is 1 then my answer is going to be a Jan if my month is 2 then my answer is going to be a Feb otherwise my answer is going to be a March so this is how I use my select case Next is loop statement. There are three types of loops in the Visual Basic as in the C++. The, they are do loop, for next and while when. So first we will see the syntax of do loop. Do loop is of two type and we have do until. So first we will see what is do while. The syntax of do while is do while condition then statement. For an example counter is equal to initially 1. So I have to repeat this step till do while my counter is less than equal to 1000. I will be printing my counter and at every iteration I will be incrementing the value of counter plus 1. So initially my counter is 1 then it will become 2. 2 is not less than equal to 1000. So again I will print my counter then my counter will be 3. Again 3 is not less than equal to 1000. Again print I will print my counter and so on. So in the do while condition basically it will get executed till my condition get satisfied. Next is do until condition statement loop again it is same suppose if my counter is 1 and I have to increment the loop till my counter becomes greater than 1000 so initially it is 1 I will be printing my counter then it will be incremented by 1 then counter will become 2 and again I will print my counter so I will keep on doing this till my counter is greater than 1000 so there are two types of do loop one is do while loop and again other is do until loop for next is Syntax of for next is for counter is equal to start to end. So for an example suppose if I am comparing this for loop with the C++ then C++ what we write for then initialization semicolon then I write condition and then what I do I do increment okay. So it means what for counter counter is here so for i is equal to 1 i is less than equal to 10 i plus plus so your counter is nothing but your i start is your starting value and end is your ending value so starting is your 1 and ending is your yes 10 
so for counter one to end and step increment is what in which a step increment is i plus plus so i am incrementing the value of i by one so that is my step increment so what i will do for counter one to ten i will be executing some statement and every time i will be incrementing my counter by one so it is for counter counter is your i starting value is one and ending value is ten then initially the i is equal to one so i will print some statement and then step increment means what i will be incrementing the value of i by one so my i will become two then again 2 is less than 10 so again I will incrementing some statement then again step increment means I will increment the value of i by 1 so I will keep on doing this till my i become 10 for an example see I have one example for i is equal to 1 to 50 step 2 now here step 2 has been written it means what I have to increment the value of i by 2 so i is equal to initially 1 so what I will do here 1 into 2 is 2 print a so i will be printing 2 next i now your next i is going to be what i will be i was initially 1 now 1 plus 2 is 3 it means what we have to increment the value of i by 2 so i plus 2 it means what 1 plus 2 is 3 so next iteration is going to be 3 into 2 is equal to 6 again i will be printing a again next i again i will increment the value of i by 2 so i is 3 after 3 it will become 5 so 5 into 2 is 10 then after that it will become 5 plus 2 is 7 so 7 into 2 is 14 and so on so i will keep on doing this till my i becomes what 50 so this was the for next loop and the last is while when loop in the while when loop what we do we, we write a condition then there is some statement and we have to keep on doing the things till my condition gets satisfied so there are three types of loop basically in the visual basic first is do loop in do loop we have two types that is do until and do while then we have the for next is the syntax of for next is for counter is equal to start to end and step increment so if you are incrementing it by one then i will write step one if you are incrementing by two then i will write step two and so on and then the last we saw that was the while when again in the while we have to keep on executing the loop till my condition gets satisfied so this was about the loops and the control statement now we'll see one sample example of the if else statement suppose if i'm checking whether the password is entered that password is correct or not that password is valid or not so it means you are creating a password screen this visual basic practical will be there in your uh, practical uh, exam also uh, for the 11th standard so what i will do here i will create i will take one label then one text box and one command button so here my caption is going to be what enter password so i'm just writing password so the password you are supposed to enter inside the text box and when I will click on OK then it will check whether the entered password is correct or not. So for this I have to take one variable. So we have seen how to declare a variable in Visual Basic. Dim. Then suppose if my variable name is valid pass. So I will take dim valid pass as string. Then you initialize some value inside valid pass. Suppose if valid pass is equal to student so it means what student value i have stored inside what valid pass now what i will do i will check if this is my text one so if text one dot text is equal to valid pass then the syntax of if then is if condition then so it means what if the value which you are entering inside the text one dot text is a valid pass valid pass is nothing but what student then message box i will get you are correct user else message box you are not correct user and if so see this is how i use my if else statement if condition then print something else print something else so this is how i create a password screen in visual basic i will be taking one label one text box one command button you can change the name of name of the label as i have shown you how to change the name of the label so it can be lbl pwd this can be txt pwd and this can be cmd okay and then you can write a code like this when you'll double click on cmd okay 
my answer is expected so you have to write a code inside the cmd okay so in that cmd okay you will take one variable valid pass inside that i have declared what student so it means what if i am entering student inside the text one dot text then i will get a message you are a correct user otherwise you are not a correct user now suppose if the next program is to calculate the sum of first 10 numbers in the visual basic then how will i do this i will take one label one text box and one command button so when i click on command button the sum of the first 10 numbers should get displayed inside this text box so what i have written i have declared one variable sum which is initially zero and my control is 10 so control is 10 means what you have to do until your control becomes what zero so see here i have used which loop do until loop what i will be doing i will be calculating the sum till my control becomes what zero initially it is 10 so it means what you are calculating this sum of 1 to 10 numbers then a is equal to input box enter number now this input box is basically used to take the input from the user so when i'll click on ok one input box will come in that input box you are supposed to enter a number so suppose if i enter number one that is one then what i will do sum is equal to sum plus a now initially your sum is zero and the number i have entered is one so zero plus one is one so your control will get incremented by one suppose if it then it will become nine it is nine it is not zero so one more time you will allow to enter the second number so now suppose if my second number is two then what will happen sum is equal to again sum plus a so my sum is already become one so one plus two is three now again my control will get decremented by one at this time it will become eight it is not zero so again enter third number suppose if my third number is three then what will happen my sum is already three plus three that is six again i will decrement my control so i will keep on doing this till my control becomes what zero and at the end i will display the sum inside the text one dot text so at the end i mean suppose if i entering first two 10 numbers then my sum of 1 to 10 numbers will be 55 and that will get displayed inside the text box so this is how i write a program to calculate the sum of first 10 numbers so that i did using which loop do until loop so i hope you have understood how to write our sample programs or the basic programs in the visual basic thanks for watching this video for the latest video please subscribe the channel ekeda